Who your kick returner is, right? <laughs> trying to do that too. Yeah, we'll, we'll have plenty Hilliard of time. the guy now, at least going, for, at least immediately speaking, I guess. Yeah, I mean, obviously with Marcus being hurt, um, Dontrell will continue to get opportunities to do it. Um, showed a little bit of flash uh, last week, and I think we did a pretty good job on a couple of them blocking for him. Uh, so we'll have him uh, go back there and see what he can do. What about Golden Tate? I know mean, that's a history. Punt return and kick return. If you should get the call up, but what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, obviously Golden uh, has been a really good returner in the league um, ever since he played at Notre Dame, and then when he, you know, went into the NFL. Uh, you know, we'll work with him too. Um, during practice, uh, especially today. And, you know, that's probably all going to depend on who's up and who's not. But uh, he'll get an opportunity during practice to do some things. What, what's it like for you? So many new players coming in. So many new players are going to be incorporated into special teams. It's a challenge to get those guys up to speed and, and familiar with what you do. Yeah, that, I mean, that's something that we're used to as special teams coaches. Uh, I know Coach Vrabel has a saying, you know, have your knees bent and head on a swivel at all times. And that's, you know, kind of our motto because we work with a bunch of players throughout the course of the year. And, you know, it's our job, Matt and I's job, to get these guys ready at any point in time. And we'll sit there and meet with them. And some of these guys that are great, even Golden, you know, came up to me when he first got here and says, hey, anything that I can do to help the team out, uh, I'm more than willing to do. So, you know, it's good to have those guys that obviously understand, you know, that they have to have a role when they play. And uh, if they, you know, get their name called during the game, that they're going to be prepared and ready to go. What do you like about Tate and as far as his skill set and, and, and just overall ability? You know, he's almost like a running back when he catches the ball. You know, we've noticed that when he was playing earlier. You know, he's short, compact, um, can break tackles. Uh, that's one of the things that kind of stand out when he was a returner. So uh, we'll obviously try to use that skill set if he were to be up and, um, you know, go from there. I understand what Chester was trying to do on the punt return. Yeah. You, know, you want to hold – Hold the defender so he doesn't. But is there anything differently like he could have done? Like what went wrong uh, towards the end of that part? Of yeah, I mean, first off, we have a lot of faith and trust in Chester. Um, he's done a great job for us throughout the year. Um, and, you know, one of the things that we'll continue to talk to him about is, you know, making the best decision out there. And I, I know exactly what he was trying to do. He was trying to, you know, push the gunner, you know, in the end zone for a touchback and things like that. But we just got to make sure uh, uh, that we have great situational awareness. And we don't want to be around the ball uh, when that stuff happens because we know it's going to hit before the end zone. So we want to make sure that we try to get away from the ball, even though we want to try to do some things to help the team. We just got to make sure that's the best decision to try to stay away from the ball, too. Is Foxborough in late November a, a tough place for place kickers? Oh, I'm, I'm sure it has been. Um, you know, haven't really looked up that stat yet as far as the percentage-wise. Uh, but Randy and I will be talking about that later on. Uh, you know, it's going to be cold is what it is. You know, Randy, Randy's just such a great – does such a great job of understanding wind. Um, and he's kicked in the cold before, so I'm sure we'll get up there early. Him and Brett will be talking a bunch, and Morgan, and they'll figure out the best way for him to kick. Do you do you go and study the wind in a stadium too, and get in those conversations, or do you leave I mean, it to you him? You don't see me working out before that. Uh, you know, we don't we don't do that same workout that we used to do with Coach Vrabel and some other guys. But yeah, that's one of the things that. You know, James will be in there, Matt, myself, we'll be going up there early and we'll get out there and we'll take a look at the wind, obviously how the ball is traveling and things like that. But, you know, Randy and Brett just do such a great job and they understand things and they played there before. So they're going to understand probably how the wind's going to end up going. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sit there and discuss some things early on before the game and go from there. Ribs made a point after the Saints game to say one area we definitely won this game was on the special team side of the ball. <coughs> I don't think anyone would have said that after this game. Is it a renewed emphasis this week of that conversation that you guys have to be better Sunday in Foxborough? For sure. You know, we that was the first thing that I talked to the players about. You know, we can't go through the highs and the lows. You know, that's the one thing that we don't want to get through. Uh, you know, so we just talked about it's going to be a huge test for us, and it's, and it's a big test for us every week. Uh, but New England's always been really good on special teams. Obviously, Coach Belichick, uh, throughout his, you know, coaching career, they've always 
had really good special teams there. So we're going to have a major test. It's going to be a huge emphasis for us, and we obviously got to do our jobs to help our team win.